Hi everyone, welcome back to another paint party. Um, this month's paint party is the Aurora Borealis and I actually already started, but before we get to the painting, uh, the colors that you'll be getting in this set is a little bit of white, black, this lime green, this fluorescent pink, and this nice violet. And you'll also be getting three pieces of string that I pre-cut here. And uh, this is the last step and I'll show you what to do after. So just to make the video quick and simple, I already painted my canvas. The whole entire background is gonna be black. Uh, and once that dries, I added a little bit of stars. You can add whatever types of stars, constellations, anything with white. If you wanna mix some of the colors and have different colored stars, that's fine too. But once your stars are all dry, we're gonna go to the last step, which I prepared here. So I have the green, the purple, and the pink. And also I used some of the leftover white and the purple to make this little lilac color. Um, so you can mix any of the colors together. So I'm going to take the string. I, there's three included so that you can use one for each color, uh, green, purple, and pink. And my recommendation is like for the lilac, I'm gonna use the purple string once I'm done with that so that um, the purple stays with the purple, since there are only three strings. Oh, okay, so this one wants to be the green string since it just jumped in there. So I'm gonna coat the green string so that it has this little layer of green paint on it. And I'm gonna keep doing that over and over until it looks all green instead of this brown twine that it looks like. Okay, and then when it looks mostly all green or whichever color you wanna start with first, I'm just gonna place it right in the middle of the canvas. And this requires you to get a little bit messy with your hands or you can use pencils or something else to push down the string. I'm just gonna use my hands because the paint's washable. It all comes out. I'm gonna just dab it on the canvas, just like that. So it's kind of, it looks like it's part of the painting, but we're not going to have the strings be part of the painting. So then let me move these out of the way. <laughs> then you're going to want to drag your string in any direction you want. You want to pull it up, pull it down, squiggle it all over the, the, the canvas here. Basically, we just want to make these weird little lines here. So, and this can be the base, like the, the, the base coat for your Aurora Borealis. And you could always go in with your paintbrush and make it, or even with your finger if you want, and you can make it more defined. So that's like the starting point of the Northern Lights. And then you can use your string again, and you can coat it as many times as you need with the different colors of paint. And you can again put it right down there on the layer and then just drag up, down, left and right, whichever way you want to go so that it looks more like the northern lights. Because if you were using a paintbrush, it might just look like one solid color and the northern lights are all different types of colors. They're opaque, some of it's a little see-through. So this way you can work with a new texture like the string and you can have different layers of paint, like there's some more green here and there's some lighter green here. So, and you can do this over and over again with all the colors, you can combine colors. This is gonna be the longest process. Uh, the longest part of this paint party is just going back over with the string and just kind of using it like dental floss to rub some of that green paint on. And then you can use your finger again or a paintbrush to try and fan it out to give it a nice little glow. I picked these three colors because they're kind of neon. They kind of look like lights and these are some of the most co more common uh, lights for the Northern Lights, which is another word for Aurora Borealis. Okay, so I'm going to flash forward when I'm done and this will all look like Northern Lights. Okay, and we're back. Uh, and here is my completed product. Let me try and bring it a little bit closer. So I used a combination of my fingers and uh, the pencils to roll out the colors to make them look 
uh, more wavy and more ribbon-like, just like the uh, Northern Lights. And there's a few lilac colors and we see some of the colors mixing together already. Again, you can just keep going over and over again with the string um, and until you have the color that you want. The green has to probably has a few coats because that one really disappears sometimes. Uh, but here is uh, the aftermath of the strings. See, they're all coated and I even got some uh, paint all over here, so I recommend uh, taking the paint out and putting it maybe on a paper plate or a paper towel somewhere where you have a lot of space so you can coat the whole string and you can work with it and um, and you can use anything you want to rub out the color and you could use a paintbrush you could use your fingers you could use a pencil as long as it's okay with your grown-up uh, you can use whatever you want to smooth out the colors and you can go as colorful as you want or if you only want a few of them I kind of went a little bit crazy with all the colors but I like it with all the colors and that's how I do things you know crazy so um all right I hope everyone enjoyed this paint party I tried to keep it a little bit shorter um and uh uh please keep uh looking at our website and seeing all the other paint parties and crafts and different types of programs we have available for everybody um and I hope you enjoyed and please 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 send me pictures and all of us and children's uh your pictures of your wonderful paintings we love to see them. Um, it really, really makes us happy uh, to see how creative uh, your paintings turn out, how beautiful. They're all just so amazing. All right. Bye, everyone.